13 animals that humans killed to extinction. Throughout history, there have been mass extinctions due to diseases, climate change, and even meteorite impacts. But in the last 100,000 years, one of the greatest causes of the extinction of various species, whether to eat them, use their fur, protect livestock from predators, or trade, has been humans who have wiped out unique species that had survived major ecological catastrophes. That's why today, we present the sad story of the 13 animals that humans drove to extinction. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our updates. Number 1. The Saber-Toothed Tigers This great feline, which we know from the Ice Age saga and commonly associate with modern tigers, is not genetically related to today's tigers. Nor is it known if it had striped or spotted fur since only its skeletal remains have survived. Another aspect is that, depending on the region, it exhibited significant changes in size. There are three main species of saber-toothed cats. The Smilodon gracilis. It lived in the United States around two and a half million years ago and weighed between 55 to 100 kilograms, making it the smallest saber-toothed species. Smilodon fatalis, which weighed up to 280 kilograms and could measure 1 to 1.1 meters in length, was found at the La Brea Tar Pits, Los Angeles, United States. According to the remains found, this species usually consisted of solitary hunters. The Smilodon populator, discovered by Danish naturalist Peter Wilhelm Lund in Lagoa Santa Brasil in 1842, weighed about 300 kilograms, had teeth 20 to 26 centimeters long, and had retractable claws similar to those of cats. Unlike the fatalis, bone remains in the same area indicate that they were usually social animals. According to archaeological research conducted in both North America and South America, the different species of saber-toothed cats went extinct between 12,000 and 10,000 years ago. This was due to the extinction of mammoths and various species that they fed on, as well as predation by Native Americans, who hunted them for their skins or for food. 2. American Horses Although Arabian horses spread around the world are the most well-known, there were several species of horses in America that went extinct before the arrival of the conquistadors. One of these species was Pleohippus lydianus, which inhabited the regions from Florida and Alberta, United States, all the way to Panama. This species existed for approximately 6.7 million years and went extinct 3.6 million years ago due to environmental changes and predation by other species. This animal was similar to Arabian horses, except it had three toes around its hooves, something discovered at a Nebraska site in 1981. According to archaeological research, it is believed that Pleohippus migrated to South America 2.5 million years ago, diversifying into three species of the genus Hippidion. The principal species inhabited Argentina, southern Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, and Uruguay, and their molars were originally studied by Peter W. Lund, in 1845, the delicate species lived in the provinces of Buenos Aires in Argentina and Jujuy in Bolivia, and their jaws were examined by the researcher Paul Gervais in 1855. And Saldiasi, originating from the Surire Salt Flat, the Milodon Cave in Chile, in the province of Santa Cruz, Argentina. This species is one of the smallest hippidions, as its size is equivalent to a modern donkey. These three species inhabited South America until 8,500 years ago, when they were driven to extinction by predation from saber-toothed tigers, Smilodon populator, South American canids like the Rotokion and Theriosictis plantisis, and pre-Hispanic indigenous people who brought them to extinction. After extinguishing their natural predators, they ended up hunting their horses to eat and make hunting tools from their bone remains, according to archaeological site discoveries found in Argentina and Bolivia, among other places. 3. The European Aurochs The Bos primigenius primigenius, or European Aurochs, was an Aurochs subspecies native to Asia, which migrated to Europe about 2 million years ago. This animal had horns up to 100 centimeters long, an average height of 160 to 180 centimeters, and four long limbs that allowed it to reach great speeds. 
aurochs fed on all kinds of leaves, grasses, and tender branches. According to specialists, it was an aggressive species that usually mated in August and September, with calves being born in May and June. Being a migratory species, aurochs visited places as distant as Russia, Poland, Spain, and Greece, with the latter being one of the sites where attempts were made to domesticate them about 8,000 years ago. They went extinct due to hunting in the 17th century. The last known specimen was seen in Poland in the year 1627. These birds, which are distant relatives of ostriches, are among the world's oldest. According to researchers, this species is thought to have migrated about 85 million years ago to Africa, to Madagascar, via an ancient land bridge that no longer exists today. The geographical isolation of Madagascar and the lack of predators led these birds to develop gigantism. Their 3-meter height and 650 kilograms made them one of the largest flightless birds on the planet. The same happened with their eggs, which measured about 30 centimeters and weighed 9 kilograms, equivalent to around 220 chicken eggs. The species began to decline in the 17th century due to the extraction and predation of their eggs carried out mostly by the natives of Madagascar, who, after consuming their contents, would use the shells as containers for carrying water. However, it was the travelers and corsairs passing through the island who eventually led to their extinction by taking the eggs as trophies. The last recorded sighting was made by the governor of Madagascar, Sieur Etienne de Flaclor, in 1642, who included it in his register of species of the region. 5. The First Penguins The great auk was one of the largest species of the Alcide family, standing about one meter tall and weighing five kilograms. It was also the first species to be called a penguin, a word derived from the Welsh phrase penguin, meaning white head, due to two white patches observed on its head. Subsequently, the name penguin would extend to other species of similar birds adapted to cold climates. Although this bird was hunted since prehistory for its meat and eggs, both in Europe and North America, it wasn't until the arrival of the first Arctic explorers that hunting intensified, leading to its extinction by the mid-19th century. In addition to hunting, another cause of its extinction was the loss of its natural habitat, as happened with Herfuglaskar Island, which sank under the waters in 1830 due to an earthquake. The last living specimen of this species was seen in Newfoundland in 1852. Number 6. Atlas Bear According to experts from the 18th and 19th centuries, it is thought to have been a subspecies of the now-extinct brown bear that lived in the Atlas Mountains, from Tunisia to Morocco. The first sources on the existence of the Atlas bear are the Romans, who hunted them, domesticated them, and incorporated them into the Roman circus as executioners to kill prisoners and enemies of the state through a punishment known as advestas according to some African mosaics from 146 BC. Hunting and the destruction of their natural habitat had already greatly reduced their numbers by the 18th century, where they were first scientifically described. The last specimens of this species were owned by the Sultan of Morocco, Ab Arham ibn Sham, who had one in captivity in 1830 and gifted another to the zoo in Marseille. This last one was an example. The letter was used by academics to study the subspecies between 1840 and 1844. It was finally declared extinct after indiscriminate hunting between the years 1867 and 1870. 7. The Quagga Zebras There are species that seem like hybrids of two different animals, and even subspecies that for many years were considered as separate species because they were so different from their counterparts. This was the case with the Quagga zebras, a subspecies of zebra from the Cape Province, South Africa. Whose part Atera of the ancient... Atera had the typical zebra stripes, but the back part had a brown coloration typical of horses. This subspecies was named Quagga by the Hottentots, an African ethnic group originating from Botswana and Namibia, who called it that due to the sound it made while chewing. Its extinction was documented by the zoologist John Edwards in 1758, who described how the Dutch settlers in South Africa slaughtered this animal to feed it to their Hottentot servants and used their skins to make bags. 
Later, with the arrival of the English in Africa, an extermination plan was carried out in the 19th century to take over the grazing land used by the quagga to feed sheep. The last known specimen of the quagga zebra died in a Berlin zoo in the year 1875. DNA samples from the stuffed specimens have led environmental groups to create a cloning plan to restore the species in Africa, although it has not yet been executed. Number 8. The Falkland Islands Warrer Ducition australis, also known as the Falkland Islands Wolf or Antarctic Wolf, is a canid species first described by Argentine gauchos in the 18th century. According to a DNA study conducted by a group of scientists led by Graham J. Slater from the University of California, Los Angeles, in the year 2009, this species is related to the manned wolf, a species of fox native to South America. It is believed that this species arrived in the Falkland Islands by crossing an ice bridge that connected to the South American continent about 3,000 years ago. With no competitors, this species became the main predator in the Falklands likely feeding on penguins and other island birds. Hunting began in 1830 by American sealers who killed them en masse for their skins. Later, in the 19th century, a group of British settlers exterminated them to protect their poultry. This extermination was facilitated because it was a peaceful kind of wolf that did not usually attack or distrust humans and fed on what they offered, often being poisoned. The last specimen of this species died in 1876. Number 9. The Mueyu and Bucardo. The Pyrenean Ibex Lusitanica, also called Mueyu, Portuguese Ibex and Cantabrian Ibex, was a subspecies of mountain goat native to the mountainous areas of northern Portugal and the regions of western Cantabria and Leon in Spain. Although this subspecies was hunted by eagles, wolves and bears, its greatest enemy was man, who destroyed its natural habitat to turn it into land suitable for livestock and hunted it to extinction in 1890 in Spain and in 1892 in Portugal. Regarding the Pyrenean Ibex bucardo, it was another mountain goat subspecies native to the French Pyrenees and the most mountainous areas of the Basque country, Navarra, Huesca, Leida and Girona in Spain. Its extinction in France in the year 1900 was due to overhunting because of its striking horns, which were highly valued among the local population. In Spain, there were some attempts to safeguard this endangered species, with laws created in 1913 and 1918 that considered its natural habitat a protected area. However, these laws could not prevent competition with other animal species, illegal hunting and genetic diseases that finally led to its extinction in the year 2000. 10. The Tasmanian Marsupial Wolf The Thalassinus cynocephalus, also called the Marsupial Wolf. The Marsupial Wolf, due to its wolf-like snout, and the Marsupial Tiger, because of its black stripes on its back, survived the last Holocene glaciations about 11,000 years ago in Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. Being one of the most difficult species to classify, within the fossil record, as it has many physical similarities with wolves and dogs, but genetically, it is more closely related to marsupial species like the ant-eating numbat. According to archaeological research conducted in the Burup Peninsula, Western Australia, the first human populations to record this species were the Australian Aborigines, who left a series of rock paintings depicting the marsupial wolf at the Dumpier rock site about 1,000 years before Christ. Later, during one of the exploration voyages of the Dutchman Abel Tasman in 1642, the presence of this species was also reported. However, it wasn't until the arrival of explorer, artist and naturalist George Harris in 1808 that the first detailed description of this specimen in Tasmania was given. The large-scale hunting of this species in Tasmania began in the year 1830 due to constant reports of attacks on sheep introduced by settlers in the region. This hunting was driven by the Van Demings Land Company, which used to pay one pound sterling per head and about ten shillings for the pups, leading to its definitive extinction in 1909. Louisiana, and Carolina parakeets. Although we usually associate parakeets and parrots with South America, 
There were also two subspecies of parrots, Conoropsis carolinensis in the United States, which went extinct due to deforestation, hunting for decoration, their feathers being used as hat ornaments, and diseases transmitted by poultry. The first of these was Conoropsis carolinensis ludovicianos, a subspecies from Louisiana that lived along the Mississippi-Missouri confluence with light blue-green coloration, which went extinct in the year 1910, while the second was Conuropsis carolinensis carolinensis, a subspecies of parrot that lived from Virginia to Florida in the Appalachian Mountains, very similar to the previous one, except it had more intense blue and green colors than the Louisiana parakeet. The last wild specimen of this species was taken down in Okeechobee County, Florida in 1904, while the last one in captivity died at the Cincinnati Botanical Garden and Zoo on February 21, 1918. The Canary Unicolor Doyster Catcher It is an extinct bird species native to the Canary Islands, Spain. In the popular culture of the region, it is often called Sea Raven, Sea Rook, and Corvine due to its dark plumage and similarity to ravens and rooks. It is believed to have been a permanent resident of the eastern Canary Islands, as no specimens have been found outside that area, although there were some doubtful sightings on the island of Tenerife in the 19th century. This species was extinct in 1940 due to the predation of their eggs by the inhabitants of the Canary Islands and spontaneous hunting by cats and rats introduced by sailors traveling to the islands. A third factor that may have contributed to its extinction was the introduction of livestock farming, which desertified areas where the animal usually laid its eggs. Number 13. The Japanese Sea Lion The Zalophus japonicus is an extinct species of sea lion that lived in the archipelagos of the Kuril Islands, Japan, and the Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia, as well as in the Northwest Pacific Such. Ocean. The species for which is named the species of the... the, the it had the, large the, the, variations between sexes, with the females measuring 164 centimeters, and having a light gray color, the males weighed between 450 to 560 kilograms, with a length of 230 to 250 centimeters, and had a dark gray color. They used to feed on fish and mollusks and were very social. The gestation lasted about a year, and the nursing of the young lasted from one to two years. Its extinction was due to several factors. On one hand, overfishing reduced its food source. On the other, Hunting for their skin and fat contributed to their decline, reaching 16,400 specimens by the year 1940. A third factor was their capture for commercial exploitation in circus shows. The last specimen of this species was seen off the coast of Rebun Island, north of Hokkaido, in 1974. Although extinctions are part of a natural process that has been present on the planet since the first forms of life emerged, Human predation has played an important role in reducing species variability. Species Accelerated extinctions have caused many ecological imbalances worldwide. Whose effects could seriously harm us in the near future? Can we correct this predatory behavior in the coming years? Or are we doomed to destroy the vast majority of animal species and ourselves? in the name of economic and social progress. We hope this video was helpful to you. If you have anything to add, please share it with us in the comment section. Like this video and share the link with your family and best friends so they can also learn more about the 13 animals that humans have driven to extinction. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to follow us on all our social media